Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do your weekly readings. This will be for the sign of Libra from August 22nd to 28th. So thank you guys for being here. Listen, I tried to make fun and do, you know, the dislike challenge. Nobody wants to do that. I don't know what's the matter with you people, but please let your finger do the walking. Hit the like or the dislike. I don't care which way you go, but get your energy out there. The energy is very dense. There are a lot of you out there, okay? It's greatly appreciated. Delilah is with us as usual. She's got a new spot up here on the desk on her little bed. So she's our little mascot, and she helps me channel. So... Yeah, she's there. And um, listen, this seems to be a very important thing I have to tell you people. So, apparently there's a lot of fugazi poses out there that are trying to take your money, you know, impersonating tarot readers. This is, of course, the board. I don't think any tarot reader, but me personally, I will never contact you. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat chakra. Somebody's trying to stop. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. This is the truth. This is what I got to tell you, Libra. Listen, if somebody contacts you and they say they're from in, they're from Brooklyn, yeah, they might very well be from Brooklyn, but it'll never be me. I will never contact you. All my information is in the description box below. That is for a personal reading or donation or if you need to contact me on any level, okay? So please be mindful. We do not want anybody taking your money, okay? Uh, what else is there? Okay, so, yeah, you can hit the subscribe button if you feel so motivated. The notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Uh, we keep it real on this channel. You will always see me shuffle in your face. And the cards will be coming out in your face. We have nothing to hide. We're not about trying terror tactics to scare people. We are, you know, of the light. And we are trying to make people ascend in a positive direction. So, you know, that's what divination is used for. Time is linear. These readings are timeless. So when you come across it, it's when you're meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. I may say he or she, depending on the card that's being channeled or that comes out. But, you know, your masculine or feminine energy could be predominant at any time. So please apply the energy to your situation. Also, it would be helpful if you went to a place like Cafe Astrology. Uh they're free, and if you put in your information, they'll give you your birth chart so that you could know your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. These are the most important placements, and maybe your north node, because you could be resonating in any of them at any time, all right? So there's all that. Um, okay, so on that, let's get started. It's with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of Libra from August 22nd to 28th, 2022, or whenever they come across it. So, hi, Libra. How are you guys? Just in case nobody told you today, I love you, and I hope everything is great. Here we go. <clears throat> Show me Libra, please, and thank you. Show me Libra. What does Libra need to see for their higher good? Please and thank you. Okay. So we're starting off this reading with an Eight of Cups. All right, whoever I'm speaking with right now, either you just came out of this or you're about to hit it in a hot minute, you're detaching from something, okay? Now, that could be anything. That could be a work situation, a living situation, a relationship, you know. But there is detachment, okay? Now you got the Nine of Wands in, well, it kind of came out like this. It's more in reverse. So this Nine of Wands, this is fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this is persevering. So, you, you know, it's in reverse. So you're done pushing through and persevering through a situation, and that's why you're detaching. Show me the foundation of this. That's actually a good thing, Libra. Okay. Now, oh, that's great. So at the at the foundation of this, there were a lot of options, a lot of different ways you could have went, okay? Um, so that's the Seven of Cups option. So that was at the foundation. Show me what's, what's crowning, what is in the ethers, what's crowning Libra, please. Libra. You know, sometimes uh, too many options are no good, though. You never know which one to pick, right? But it's at the foundation, so suffice to say he's made a choice already. Now... Above you is the Knight of Swords. Swords is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This knight, you know, this is an energy of impulsiveness. This is an energy of, you know, in and out. You know, 
he's thinking, but he's only thinking about himself, he or she, okay? So, you know, you could have somebody coming in, because it's in the ethers, it's crowning you, that embodies this energy, or, you know, like I said, it's sword, so it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this actually could be you, not knowing exactly, you know, not knowing exactly what you want, because maybe there's too many options, okay? Now, show me what's coming in the near future that Libra needs to see, please and thank you. Show me. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's good. We got a bunch of cards. All right, so here. Oh, boy. The Four of Cups. Mink with this card. Mink Yachts with this card. All right, so this Four of Cups, this is water energy. This is nostalgia and stagnancy. This is somebody who's so busy focused on what they lost, they can't see, you know, what's coming in in the future. So snap out of that. Just snap out of it. Um, how you're perceiving this is the Page of Swords. This is also Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody could be watching you. Now, when I say that, I don't mean that the FBI is up your ass, guys, so don't freak out. What I mean is, could be a nosy neighbor, could be somebody at work who's minding your business instead of theirs. Maybe people are watching what you post on your, you know, on your, uh, the internet, you know. Um, so just be aware of that. You also could have some incoming information. Now, in your actual environment is the Nine of Swords, again with the air energy. This is stress. So around you is a lot of stress. That's probably why you're detaching. You're sick of holding your ground. You know, you're looking at your options. Yeah. But you're still feeling stagnancy. But, you know, if this is you, if this is you, Gemini, you are, not, I mean, a Libra, well, there could be a Gemini involved. But if, if this is you, you're not, like, looking for anything... You know, you're worried about yourself, first of all, and you're not, you know, feeling like you want to commit yourself to anything long-term. You're just, like, staying in the moment because you, you're stressed out. Show me. Is that a flipper? Did we see a flipper? No. I also like to mention that all my cards are always in the upright, okay? They're always in the upright. So if it comes out in reverse, it's meant to. A lot of people don't read reversals. I read reversals. Show me advice from spirit, please. There goes Delilah. She just had her lunch, so she's going to go down for her nap now. Libra, please. Libra. Vice and spirit. Oh, that one flipped. Right in your face. Success. So you will, there is going to be success in this situation. Overcoming this stress. You know, success at detaching from whatever situation it is. Maybe you just need to stay in the moment. We got a knight of page here. This could be, you know, a younger person, a younger energy, or somebody that's immature. This could definitely be somebody immature. Show me, um, okay. Well, there you go. Now you got number one. This is Gemini energy. This is the magician. This is being able to manifest whatever you want, okay? This is having all the tools you need, all your elements, you know. And now you can now manifest whatever you want your future to be, you know. Especially if you walked away from something, you stopped fighting for it, persevering. You, you know, you had all these options open to you, so this is actually pretty good, Libra. You have a Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of this. This is Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. This is a pretty solid offer. He's got a foot on the ground. You know, he's not just flying in crazy like this guy. Um, his pentacle is out, his shoulders are back, his head is up. He might be a younger energy or somebody that's a little immature, but they're solid. They are actually studious. They want to learn how to be the King of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, if somebody's coming in at you like that, that's a pretty solid offer. This one, not so much, okay? Now, this could be the same person that has air and uh, earth in their chart. But, you know, this could be you. Okay, one, two, so the holy trifecta here, and three. Okay. Please give me clear and concise clarifications for Libra for August 22nd to 28th, 2022, or whenever they come across this. Here we go. Show me this detachment here. I mean, that flew right out. Oh, great. Oh, guys, I'm so happy for you, Libra. So now you got an ace of wands. This is success and passion. So whatever you're detaching from, it's going to bring you success, and you're going to get passion back in your life. Then you've got the Ten of Cups. This is ultimate happiness. This is a water energy. So you need to detach from wherever this is. You're going to find your ultimate happiness. You're going to be successful at it. That's so good, Libra. I'm so excited for you. One more card for this, please. Give me the uh, Holy Trinity. What's one more card for this, please, and thank you. One more, please, and thank you. Libra. Oh, gee, we're not taking all those. That's just absolutely absurd. That's crazy. One more, please, and thank you. One more, please, and thank you. Clear my energy. One more, please, and thank you. 
Okay, well, you got the devil. So now this is a Capricorn energy. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Somebody else could, or there could be, you know, just a real Capricorn. But this is toxicity in any form. This is sex, drugs, rock and roll. This is overeating, over overindulgence in anything. This is also any toxic people around you that you need to detach from, which you're going to be very successful at because it's coming in on detachment. So if there was any, excuse me, here we go. Ah, oh, there goes the note. If there's any toxic behavior or any toxicity in your life in any form, whether it's other people, you, whatever, you are detaching from it. And this is going to, you're going to be very successful at it. You know, you're passionate about doing it and it's going to bring you your ultimate happiness. So that's excellent, Libra. I'm so excited for you. Now, show me this uh, lack of persevering. It's not exactly, oh, my nose is a chin. It's not exactly raising the right flag, but it's saying I had enough and, you know, enough is enough. So now you got a page of cups in reverse and an eight of swords. You're not overthinking about this anymore. You're definitely not overthinking about this anymore, which is a good thing. Now, this page of cups in reverse, this is, if you had any information that you were waiting, any communication, it's not coming, okay? So forget about it. But this is also, you know, this is not a very warm energy. It's not a very stable energy. This is, you know, if he were the kid brother, this would be a kid brother from hell right now. Just a nasty, you know, rude energy. So keep that in mind. One more for this. One more for this page of cups in reverse. Not, you know, there's no love in that one's heart, okay? It's completely immature, completely, you know. Oh, God, it goes to nose. Gee whiz. Come on, give it to me. One more, please. All right, well, you're going to get, oh, well, you're getting three more. We're going to take them. Okay, seven of swords. This was dishonesty. There was a lot of dishonesty in a situation. Whatever that situation was, it could have involved this, you know, this, this toxic energy here, okay? That, you know, you were overthinking about, but you're out of your head. Something's moving quickly. Now, it could be you quickly moving out of a situation or into a new situation, or it could be something in your life that's just moving very quickly, okay? So, you know, or coming in at you very quickly. So, and now you got this Four of Cups, which again is nostalgia and stagnancy. So you may be moving quickly out of this nostalgia and stagnancy, okay? Because of whatever dishonesty this was. And then it involved an immature, you know, not a very um, nice energy here. And uh, yeah, you're not you're not overthinking it. You're definitely going to... I'm here to put a burner under it. <laughs> okay. So put a burner under it, guys. Thank you. Okay, now show me this Seven of Cups, please. Please and thank you. What are the options? What is all these options? Okay, you have... Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, the Seven of Pentacles, now that's an Earth energy. Let me just fix my cards here. This pe this Seven of Pentacles is investing effort. So you're going to be investing effort at choosing the right options for you now, okay? It's all about you. Some of the Seven of Pentacles, please. What are we investing effort into? What's, what is the Seven of Pentacles doing here, please? Please and thank you. Well, oh, yeah. All right, guys, what do I tell you about this freaking card? I hate this card. This is the worst card in the deck. This is some kind of emotional pain. Now, usually it's a third-party situation, in which case I'm telling you that if somebody puts you into this third-party situation, they're a no-good son of a bitch, and let them have each other, okay? Just bow out of it, because they deserve each other, first of all. Nobody needs this, and if, you know what? Once a cheat, always a cheat. If these two together, if they, if you know, whatever this was, you... Uh, ahead of the game. And the reason why you're ahead of the game is because you know how that relationship must have started out already? Already they know they're both cheats and they can't trust each other. So it's not starting out. So you, you know, you're investing effort at walking away from whatever emotional pain this is and opening the door to your options. Wow. Now, if it's not a third-party situation, it's some other kind of emotional pain. You know, you, you, you're, come, you're going to come out of it. Yeah, it, this brought you a lot of burdens. Whatever this third-party, whatever this emotional pain was, it's a lot of burdens. So now you're going to be investing effort at what options that are available to you. All right? You don't have to be, you know, don't fight for somebody like that. Don't do it. Don't let the door hit them in the ass on the way out, really. Show me this Knight of Swords, please. Libra. Okay. You got the Queen of Wands. This is the fire queen, right? She is all powerful. She is head over heart. She is stern, unemotional, and unaffectionate. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This energy, 
this is coming in for you. This could be somebody coming in for you. All right, so it could be a fire sign or somebody that has fire in their chart, but this is not a very affectionate energy. It's not an over-emotional energy. Energy. She's not, like, particularly mean, but she will stick a fork in your head just to soon serve you with it if you bust the balls. So keep that in mind. Now, what's this? What's this? Oh, wait a minute. we got to finish this one here. Hold on. I thought I did three. I don't know. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So this night, this could be some incoming information. This is actually the best night in the deck to get. Look how solid he is. His feet are down solid on the ground, this horse. All right? He's not, like, you know, coming in all crazy. This knight is sitting on this horse. He's sitting up straight. His head is forward. His shoulders are back and his pentacles out. So this could be an earth energy coming for you. Maybe they have earth and uh, fire in their chart. But this is definitely an offer coming in. It could also be an offer about how to make some money. Okay. Now we got... Oh, wow. Well, yeah. So this is going to bring a tower situation. This is the divine giving you a kick in the ass. This is a shock and a surprise. Okay? So you got something coming that you don't see. It's going to shock you, surprise you. Not necessarily bad, but maybe you're not moving fast enough or you're not, you know, putting any effort into healing or, or, or rebuilding or whatever it is. So spirit's going to come and give you a kick in the ass. It might cause you a little stress. You know, whatever this whatever this tower moment is, it doesn't have to be a huge tower moment. It could just be something very subtle. But it is going to give you a kick in the ass, all right? And it is going to um, bring stress into your life, all right? Well, you're going to, you know, in your head. You're going to be stressful in your head. Yeah, and then you're going to be sitting there like this. Don't do that. Show me this. Show me the Four of Cups, yeah? Give me this Four of Cups. If you hear snoring, it's this one. She snores like uh, an old man with COPD. Right, Delilah? Oh, it's kinky. She's getting the itis. She's getting, she's getting tired from the lunch. Look, there she goes. Down for the count. Come on, show me. Show me for Libra. What's this four of cups? Show me this four of cups, please, and thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, you might own. Might own to me. That's too many. Come on. May I please have a trifecta for this four of cups, spirit and ancestors? Let's go. There you go. Oh, well, that's a lot of cards, guys, but we're going to take them. That's what we do. All right. The reason why you're sitting there like this, all mocus and melancholy, is because there has not been a breakthrough or any fairness or any balance in the situation. Okay? So you know that. But there is an offer of emotion coming in. And if it will be reciprocated. You will be holding on tightly. Whether you're holding on tightly to your money because maybe you don't have a lot or maybe, you know, there's a situation or something in your life that you want to keep under your hat and hold on tightly to. That's fine. There... Because that's going to bring a breakthrough for you, all right? So now you could have a Libra involved in this. Yeah, because there was no breakthrough. Now there's going to be a breakthrough. And with this offer of emotion, maybe it's going to be, you know, the breakthrough. But there could be a Libra. Uh, and this is going to bring you, you know, to a happy place. Maybe you're going to go hang out with some friends, you know. Now this offer of emotion could be friendly. It could be a very friendly offer, but it's going to be reciprocated. It could also be, you know, it could be love. Like, it could be anything. But, but... The point is it's going to bring you to a break, better place, okay? You're going to hold on tightly to maybe your money or some kind of situation, and you'll don't let it be that situation, Pre, please, Libra. So there will be a breakthrough. And then, you know, go out and enjoy yourself, you know. Just go out and enjoy yourself. Maybe hook up with some old friends before the summer's over. Have a drink, go dancing, go, you know, whatever. On the boardwalk, that's too many, guys. Show me this page of swords, please, and thank you. Oh, okay, you have uh, six of swords. You're going to be moving over to calmer water. Yeah. You had enough of this, whatever it was back there. You're moving over to calmer water. All right? I don't blame you. This is also an Aries card. So there could be an Aries involved. This, you got Gemini, Aries. What did I say here? You got Cancer. You got, uh, let's look. The tower is, uh, Scorpio. Let's see. Yeah, is, the devil is Capricorn. So you got, you know, you got a few different people in the mix over here. Show me this uh, Six of Swords for Libra, please. For Libra. Six of Swords for Libra. Okay, well, you're going to be taking a leap of faith. Now you got an Aries involved in this, too. I think we had one Aries card already. Yeah, this one. But listen, so this is like double confirmation on where somebody might have Aries in their chart very predominantly. But you're moving over to Karma Waters where you can take a leap of faith. And God bless you for that. You should always take a leap of faith. Always, always. Right? You have nothing to lose. There's no harm in trying and failing. The harm is in not trying at all. Because let me just tell you something. When you're on your deathbed, and I say this all the time, you don't want to be laying there going, oh, what if I would have did that? If is two-letter word. It's one of the biggest words in the English language. Trust me on this one. So take that leap of faith. It doesn't matter if you go to the left or the right. What matters is that you do it. Grow wings on the way down. Let go and let God. All right? So wing in a prayer. You got this. 
Show me the full, please. What's this full? For Libra. Seven of Wands is coming in sideways. Yeah, well, okay, here you go. So, you know, Wands is fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and this is standing your ground. So it's, it came in sideways, which means you're not really standing your ground anymore. You're going to take this leap of faith. So God bless you. It's so good. Now, is it going to cause you a little stress? Probably, because it's something new and you don't know it. But, you know, just face the unknown. Everything that, you know, all your happiness and everything you want could just be on the other side of fear. And fear is something that you contrive in your head, right? Fear is an illusion. Fear is an illusion. Okay. You got the King of Pentacles and it came out in reverse. So, you know, this is... This energy, this is an earth energy. This is somebody who's not very emotionally balanced. They're not very well prepared. They have no confidence. They're irresponsible. They're unorganized. So, you know, it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess is what it is. So maybe that's why also their finances wouldn't be in order. So maybe that's why you're stressful. Maybe your finances are not in order. Maybe you're not, you know, you're not very organized right now. But, you know, for the love of God, get off this bed, take a shower, go outside to that beautiful day, you know. Things will work out. It, it, will, it will work out. Show me this uh, King of Pentacles. Nothing stays the same. The one constant in life is change. Right, guys? Show me this King of Pentacles in reverse. It's this hot mess right here. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Why? Because you had a very painful ending and destruction. And I would say, yeah, with that. Look where it's coming underneath. It's coming right underneath the Three of Swords. Painful endings and destruction. So, you know, and it caused you a lot of burdens. Burdens and, yeah, look at this. Two tens. My own and me, Libra, you poor thing. I'm giving you hugs. I don't know what the hell we're going to name this reading. It's going to be okay, though. You can manifest. You're going to be successful, and you can manifest whatever you want here. And for those of you who don't know how to manifest, with you, close your eyes and look like you're looking at a movie. Imagine you're looking at a movie. See yourself doing whatever it is that you want, or, you know, Living the life that you want. See it like, it, like it's happening right now. And that's manifesting. Show me. In your mind's eye, in your third eye, you got to... Yeah, give me. Yeah, this is the truth. Ace of Swords, there will be a breakthrough in this situation. There's going to be a breakthrough. Obviously, look. It's coming in on top. There will be a breakthrough in this. This is the facts. The facts, the facts. And then that's going to bring you into success. So let the breakthrough happen. Show me this Nine of Pentacles, please. Show me the success. Now I'm happy. All right. We have, oh, we have the Three of Wands and the King of Wands. So Wands is fire. It, so this will be at crossroads. This is, now you're, you're, success, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're going to decide which ship you want to get on, right? So this is crossroads, waiting for your ship to come in. You got the King of Wands. This is the fire king now, okay? I know you got the fire queen in here before. I saw her. Where was she? So this is the divine counterpart here. But this this king, you know, he's assertive. He's no nonsense. He's unemotional. There she is. Look, he's coming in right underneath her. Look at this. My own and me, Libra, this is great. So this is your divine counterpart. This this guy would just assume cut your head off. Look at you. He's not particularly mean, but he's not going to take no shit. So these are two people here, masculine and feminine. Unless you're balancing out your yin and your yang, and this is you, that... You know, are perfectly suited for each other. They're perfectly suited, okay? And I'm going to say, the way that they came in, look, they're seeing each other. So this is coming in. This is going to bring you success. Oh, my God, I'm so happy for you, Libra. One more for this. One more, please. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. Just don't be nostalgic. Don't be nostalgic, because otherwise you're going to ruin this situation. Like, you know what? Snap out of it, like I always say. Don't be nostalgic. Don't be looking at the past like, you know, how good it was. Because obviously it wasn't that good, right? Obviously it wasn't that good. It brought you some kind of emotional pain. Think about the things that made you feel this way, okay? And that'll help you get through it and past this nostalgic, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to leave this king right on top of this queen because we like that. Okay, now, now that you got your divine counterpart and you passed all this, you're going to be in your ultimate happiness. This is the truth, okay? Let's see this. What's, what's manifesting here? This is Gemini, a Gemini energy. Show me. Show me. Please and thank you. One more. Uh -huh. Oh, look, what did I just tell you? What did I just tell you? Thank you, spirited ancestors. You're going to be completely successful and your ultimate happiness. All right? This is this is the sun. Here comes the sun. All right? This is... Yeah, look how beautiful this card is. Everything's illuminated. Everybody's happy. This is... You know, you're going to... You're manifesting... You're going you're gonna to be... 
I'm so happy for you. You're going to be so happy. This is ultimate happiness. Completion. Show me two more, please, for this. I mean, the success, success, the truth here. Yeah, we got it. Now you got the Queen of Pentacles. You had the King of Pentacles here. I know I saw him. So again, again, your ultimate counterpart, all right? Where is this King of Pentacles? Did I see a King of Pentacles? Am I that crazy? I thought I saw this. All right, well, by the time we find it, it's going to be 20 minutes later. But here you go. This is, you know, this is a businesswoman of the bunch. This is a very, you know, confident, well-prepared, organized, entrepreneurial, you know, responsible energy here. So, yeah, that's great. All right? And there might be things that you don't know. There could be secrets being kept. You know, the, this is a Cancer energy now. This is a Leo energy, in case I didn't say that. Um... So whether it's in your chart somewhere, you know, whatever, or somebody else's chart. So just be careful of things you don't know, any lies being told, any deceptions, you know, anything, anything for gazy. All right. King of Swords. Swords is air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is you. Okay, Libra. This is using your head. Use your head and make sure that there aren't any secrets, you know, because you, you, your ultimate happiness is riding on it and your financial security. And this is what you're manifesting. But, you know, this King of Swords, he's a logical person. He's, he thinks about things before he does it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's an organized, efficient. Look at this. Look at this, my own and me. This is twice the world. Completion and ultimate success. Where do we just have this? Look. Look at this. Oh, the sun in the world. Same thing, though. It's a completion and ultimate happiness. It's, it's you know, coming in fast at you. Coming in fast. So, I mean, this is an excellent reading. Now, let's get some kippers. Here. Let's get some kippers. Clear my energy. Kipper, could you please put your two cents into this for Libra? Libra. Libra. Here we go. And what do you have to say, Kipper? Give it to me. Clear it concisely for the better of Libra. Show me. Bring into their higher good. Okay, we got a flipper. This is number 29, imprisonment. Okay, so listen, this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to Alcatraz. Somebody could be going to prison, I don't know. Could be you or somebody else. But this could be mental imprisonment. This could be spiritual imprisonment. This could be emotional imprisonment. Maybe you're, you know, you're locked up to this heartache and pain. So knock it off, all right? Nine, 29 and nine and two is 11. Here we go. Okay, there could be a great fortune involved in this. All right, so whatever that is for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. Fortunate, fortune could be just being successful emotionally, you know, spiritually and mentally. So six, seven, eight. 26 or eight. 29 or 11. What else do we have? Oh, that goes to Lila with the storm. Okay. There could be a thief around you. Be careful, Libra, Okay. This is the thief card. So 24 and 4 and 2 is 6. I always say, you know, this one's distracting him with the boobs. And this one's picking out of the pocket. This guy doesn't even know what's going on. So be, be mindful. Now you have 2, 2, 2. So that could be an angel code for some of you. Please go look that up. All right? Put it into Google and they'll tell you the angel code. It could be a personal message from your personal spirit guides or ancestors. So 2, 2, 2. 24, 2 and 4 is 6. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, 666 could also be a number here, guys. So, 222 or 666. Now you got 33. Concerned. Somebody's concerned about something. They're so concerned. Look at the gray hair it's giving them. So, that could be you or somebody else. Maybe somebody's concerned that there was a thief that's going to imprisonment that involved a great fortune. All right? Yeah. Oh, boy, am I hearing that. Oh, there goes my dopes. There's some concern about somebody who was a thief that took a... That, that there was a great fortune involved that could be going to prison, okay? So maybe this person's concerned. Please go look up 222. I keep hearing this and 666. 222 and 666. Please and thank you, Libra. All right, just Google it. Okay, now here we got, there's a privileged lady involved in this. All right, so number 12 or 3. There's a false person. Well, yeah, this thief. This thief is a false person. Be careful. Number 8. And there could be a courthouse. What did I just tell you? Oh, my God, my nose is itching. 
It's going to be quite, because why there's going to be imprisonment, some kind of imprisonment for some kind of great fortune that somebody stole because they were a forced person that involved a privileged lady. Now somebody's concerned. Be careful. Now you got number 23. So you got two, 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 three, three, three. Yeah. Let's just go around the bed and see if, wow. Anything else, Kipper? One more time. Holy trifecta. All right. Looks like Kipper is done. Careful the family room, all right? There could be some discussions in the family room about this situation, either about you or... All right, now we're going to do the hidden truths. The hidden truths are either something that's on your mind that you want to say to somebody and haven't opened your mouth, or vice versa. So, you know, I can't... I can't I'm can't. i doing Libra right now, but if you have something on your mind that you need to get off your chest that you want, you know, to say to somebody, no matter what it is, go for it. Go for it. You don't want to hold on to things. You know, like I said, if is the biggest word in the English language for two letters. You don't want to be living in regret years later. Like, I wish I would have said something. I wish, you know, it's going to be too late then. There's the holy trifecta. Here we go. Show me. Hidden truths. Any hidden truths on this one? Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra. Okay, we got a flipper. I saw that. I wish I could share my good news with you. Well, there you go. Oh. I wonder if you're happy without me. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Whoa, we're not taking all those. That's just crazy. I know I messed everything up. Oh, my Lord. Come on. No, you can't take all these people. That's like too many messages. Nobody could be thinking that much, right? Give me anything else. We'll go three times around the mountain. One, two... I guess that's it. Yeah, that's definitely it. I went more than three times. I left you before you could leave me. Now let's get you a Dragon Oracle Libra and we'll get you on your way. Like I said, if you want to make a donation, a book of personal reading. And by the way, I'm booked up for this week. So, uh, yeah. But um, my information's in the box below. Nobody's going to contact you. So, uh, like, yeah, keep that up front. These people will do anything nowadays. Again, let your finger do the walking. It's a snap. You can't find it in your heart to hit that like button to be polite and manly. It's the right thing to do. Then hit the dislike. I'm strong. I can take it. But put your energy in there. It's the right thing to do. We weren't raised in caves, right? Here you got legacy. Eight. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Persistence. That's a beautiful card. Look at that card. Sure, if there's a great fortune involved in here, somebody, you know, some false person took for you, there could be a legacy involved. God bless you, Libra. Thank you so much. Delilah says goodbye even though she's sleeping. And until next time, love and light.